being the only son between my two sisters my parents thought that i would become either an engineer or a lawyer or a doctor if not anything else as a agriculturist my father was agriculturist but uh, my marks i was always 45 50% chap so it was impossible after the intermediate i thought perhaps i could go to art but then you know my parents were told that let him do bsc physics chemistry mathematics and i used to get a tuition for all the subjects and that was a torture then i started doing uh, caricatures of these cricketers and then musicians whom i admired i was doing all these things without my parents knowledge you know my my cartoon and caricature for all these magazines was only after 10:30 11 o'clock in the night then there was one uh, art critic called g venkatachalam and uh, it is he who saw my work then he said i think you should go to an art school and uh, and there is kcs panikkar is very wonderful teacher and madras is very close by you must go to an art school i said sir how do i convince my parents he said i will talk to them so my parents finally agreed because they knew i was not happy at all then i went to a, a madras art school in 1960 i was 18 and odd at that time then uh, i gave panikkar this letter venkatachalam's letter he said good but i won't take you in unless you pass the test i said yes sir test was something like drawing from the model which i had never done somehow i managed you know i managed uh, that and i managed to going and doing landscape outside and i got a first rank and then i was admitted to the college but one thing uh, my father felt how are you going to make money from art so initially my father said look i will give you some money every month for your basic necessities but that was not sufficient really is not sufficient because i had to buy my colors my canvas my paper it's all expensive but in 1964 i applied for the national scholarship government of india cultural uh, Dep- culture department scholarship and uh, i got uh, that scholarship that year which was 250 rupees a month at that time that was really a good sum and so i told my father please don't send any money any more i can manage and uh, i didn't touch my father's by after that and 1967 i got the national award for my painting of lalit kala academy and uh, so that really made uh, my mother feel great she said that you know that that something you know her son has achieved i mean that feeling you know i could see that sort of a happiness in them and uh, so no going back after that 1965 uh, in the college of art when we were studying and panikkar asked some of us what we would do after finishing the diploma we didn't know what to answer you know i mean how to answer that question then um, he said look some of my very good students they have gone to commercial industry and they have lost themselves and uh, you know i feel very bad about it i know how difficult it is for an artist to survive there was an american artist who had come to visit our college and he was wearing a shirt which was designed by him the first time we saw an artist design his own shirt that's how we started doing batik we were about uh, 25 30 of us we started learning batik and did the batik and one year we had produced enough like sarees dress materials and wall hangings and so many things we had an exhibition it was a sell out in chennai that gave us idea that we need a place and it's possible for us to even if one sp- spent about an hour or two a day we could make enough money for our basic livelihood so we formed a cooperative artists handicrafts association we called it and bought 10 acres of land in different stages and named it cholamandal artists village Arna was uh, in 1962 when she was uh, two years junior to me in the College of Art where I studied in Chennai. 
and uh, we became good friends and we got married in 1971 and uh, she moved to cholamandal artist village we built a house in cholamandal in uh, 1971 and um, uh, she was very much responsible to get it designed and build it then we lived together very happily she was working on her own and i was working on my own and we used to travel a lot in 1981 we had our son born and um, we lived together very happily in 1988 when arnavas died of cancer and uh, then i was thinking of doing something for the cancer society but some of my friends advised me to start a charities a for her of a foundation to help a community of artists so i requested some of my friends like girish karnad shanta gohan to join me to start this what i called arnavas vasudev charities in 1989 and the charities has been doing a lot of good work and it has been helping a lot of young artists financially over the years and nearly 200 artists have so far benefited from these charities well prodigal son you know i i left my father and went away in 1960 i never thought i would come back to be in the farm anyway circumstances made me come back and it was after i met amu you know uh, she is my wife now uh, after i met her and I, i brought her here one day to show this place and she said it's such a beautiful place uh, unless you build something here you will not feel like coming and staying Ponappa, who designed my Chola Mandal cottage in 1971, when he was a student, he said that he would like to design this. So both Amu and I we told him that we would like to have a courtyard house, you know. So based on courtyard, he designed the whole house. And Amu, she is very much responsible in building this place. as much as arnavas was responsible in building cholamandal cottage amu is responsible for this house i was always interested in uh, other crafts uh, you know because in the school of arts and crafts where i studied there was a very good craft section and uh, so one learned a lot of other crafts over there Like batik, enameling work, copper work, ceramics, etc., etc. Then you know, I felt the need to apply myself to other mediums other than my drawing or painting. So then, uh, I got a very good uh, metal worker uh, to come and teach me at the College of Arts uh, where he was working, and then he came to Chola Mandal and start taught me. and then i started working in copper of course i take the help of uh, people like my carpenters and others and uh, then this also led me to other uh, crafts like uh, uh, with a weaver i have been working with a weaver for the last uh, 20 to 22 years creating tapestries in silk and you know I have done wood inlay work and I have done ceramic work so it's very interesting for me to carry on doing all this extending oneself to different crafts
I got involved in uh, partly with my friends to get National Gallery of Modern Art situated in Bangalore and uh, it is housed on Palace Road in Maniki Valley Mansion building and um, it has been very very helpful for the artist to see the national collection and it has been doing a lot of good work. But I was invited to take part in an exhibition, I was invited to uh, you know have an exhibition of my own, a retrospective and uh, I had a retrospective at National Gallery of Modern Art in 19 98 for almost a month. Later I was invited by the National Gallery of Modern Art Mumbai to have my show, a retrospective again for uh, one and a half months uh, in 1989. These are some of my mm, paintings which I have done over the years. like humanscapes, earthscapes, theater of life, tree of life, fantasy and uh, I have done almost about 7 to 8 series of paintings in the last almost uh, 58 years.